up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at a set of Grotto henchmen chests from the 4 inch line of Fortnite action figures from Jazzwares. And we've seen Jazzwares offer things similar to this in the past where they've done the ammo boxes or the loot drops or the supply sharks, things like that. So this is very much similar to those. But there is a set of four chests and each one comes with different pieces to make a Grotto henchman action figure. And so you can kind of see here on the front it lists the items that are included, and then it tells you which pieces of the action figure are included so you don't buy duplicates. Now, I've seen these be sold separately at, like, Game Stops, things like that, or I just got these on Amazon. They sold it as a set of four, and I think it was, like, $13 or something like that, so just a slightly uh, increased price from what it would just cost to buy the Grotto action figure by itself, and then you get a ton of these extra accessories and everything. So you can see here... This one has a legendary bolt action sniper rifle, pistol, heavy assault rifle, ice mantle back bling. So we're getting a lot of different accessories for the figures here. So if you can get these for a really good price, it's actually really cool because you're getting all these accessories for only a dollar two more than just to buy the action figure. Whereas if you buy them like piecemeal at GameStop, I think they sell them for like six dollars a crate and then it ends up being about 25 bucks. So... Uh, plus, you can actually just keep the crates. They make kind of nice background display pieces, things like that. You can keep accessories in them. So I'm going to go ahead, get all of these opened up, and then we're going to take a closer look at everything. So here we go. I've opened all four of the crates, and I've gone ahead and assembled the figure because there was no way I was doing this on camera. Honestly, the arms and the legs snap in very easily. Even the head was pretty easily snapped in. The torso section is terrible. So basically... You have this crotch plate here with kind of a U-shaped bracket. Then you have a ball joint for the torso. And it would be easy enough to kind of snap that in if you didn't also have this little abdomen piece here. Because the U-shaped thing is kind of open in the back. And you could easily kind of pop the ball joint through the back and it would snap in very easily. But because you have this piece in here, you can't actually access that. So you have to kind of put this on top of this and then go ahead and just kind of wiggle it back and forth. I tried to straight push it in. And it was really just killing my arms and my hands, really hurting. Uh, but if you just kind of wiggle it back and forth, eventually it'll kind of click in. And that was the easiest way I found to do it. But I will say it's a great looking figure when all is said and done. I love the hood here. I love the mask. Definitely gives me henchman vibes. I feel like this guy could be working for Cobra or something like that. I think he looks really, really cool. You have uh, all the same articulation that you're used to. You have a hinge there, you have a ball joint for the head, and there's also kind of like a little spot for the like little pieces of his hood to kind of like just perfectly uh, situate themselves right there. You have the bend ratchet, nice ratchet there in the shoulder as well as the rotation. Doesn't have anything in the bicep, but he does have a hinge and a rotation in the elbow. And then of course you have a hinge and a rotation in the wrist. You have that ball joint I talked about in the torso there, as well as the waist swivel. And then you have really nice ball joint there in the hip. You have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And then you have the ratchet and then the rocker in the ankle. So all the articulation you would expect from a Jazzwares 4-inch figure. And I love the look of this henchman. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. Like I said, definitely could see him fitting in your G.I. Joe collection. Definitely looks like he could be working for Cobra. Really love the design of this henchman. They do also just sell this as a figure, like in a bubble on card, so you don't have to assemble them if you don't want to. Um, and like I said, it was really <laughs> a pain to get that torso assembled, but it's a really nice solid figure when you're all said and done. I wanted to run through the crates real quick so we could see all the different items that we get here. So I'm just going to go through these one at a time, and they are nice little crates. You know, they have some nice paint applications here, honestly. And they look great as display pieces if you're having some kind of like diorama you want to build or just to store weapons. And they're just kind of little like, you know, friction cases just to keep them closed. And then I'll just go ahead and dump out what we have in this first one. So it looks like we have a sniper rifle. Now I will say all of the weapons in these are done out of this translucent plastic. They're done in the various colors having to do with the rarity. So gold, purple, blue, green, and then white or clear. So I wish they were painted. I like the weapons to be painted, but I understand it's definitely much cheaper for them to just do these molds with translucent plastic. And I think at least the fact that they're kind of, you know, having them uh, equate to the different rarities in the game is at least something. They're not just random rainbow colors. So this is an epic 
sniper rifle. Then we have a rare assault rifle. And then we have an epic pistol. And then we have this uh, trash can back bling, trash can lid. And then we have this kind of cape back bling. So that's everything we get in the first crate. I will go ahead and dump out the second crate here. And some of these are a little better than others, but here we have a legendary rocket launcher. Here we have a epic suppressed assault rifle. Then we have a very common regular assault rifle. And then we have two back blings. This is kind of the briefcase full of cash with the one set of handcuffs hanging off. And then this is the duffel bag full of Monopoly money. I don't really know what's going on with this one. They call it like the swag back bling. I don't know. He stole a bunch of pamphlets from the job fair. I don't really know what's going on with this one, but it's definitely an interesting looking back bling. So we'll close that one up. We'll move on to this one. This one's got some good stuff in it. So we have the burger back bling. <laughs> I love this. Really nicely painted and detailed. I really like this one quite a bit. Uh, we also have an epic, or I guess rather a legendary, uh, stinger suppressed shotgun. We have a common tactical shotgun. And then we have the flare gun. Which the flare gun, I think, is always blue. I don't think there are different rarities of the flare gun. But one of the coolest accessories in these sets is this, um, like, you know, the exclamation point to let you know that the guard sees you. And you just go ahead and peg this onto the back here. And so, you know, if you were to get the guard's attention, you have the little exclamation point there. I think that is such a fun accessory. I really like that quite a bit. This definitely would add to like little displays and dioramas that you might make. So I think that's really fun. I love that accessory. And then we will move on here to the last set of accessories. So in the same vein as the exclamation point we just saw, we have a question mark for when they think they see you, but they haven't quite noticed you yet. I just think those are the funnest accessories. I really like that. It's so clever. Very well done. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, you have a charge shotgun, epic charge shotgun. Then you have a hunting rifle, legendary hunting rifle. And then you have a common, uh, I think this is a suppressed, mm, some kind of submachine gun. I'm not 100% sure what kind. And then the best back bling, the Peely Shake back bling. Absolutely love this one. That's really, really cool. That is definitely going on the back of my Bunker Jonesy. Really, really love that. So these have been really fun. I really like the accessories that are included here. I think the action figure you get is really fantastic as well. It's just assembling him that's kind of a pain. But once you can do that, you get some really great accessories. You get a really great figure here, all for around 13 bucks, which I think is really, really reasonable for everything you get here. So like I said, definitely check amazon for these i mean like i said if you want to buy them piecemeal in gamestop you can but the other problem with that is they sell them loose so you have to go make sure you get a full set of four and make sure you don't get any duplicates if you buy them on amazon they sell them as sets and then you just you know 13 or 15 dollars whatever it turns out to be they send you the perfect pre-made set of four and then you just go ahead and put the figure together so I think these are a ton of fun. I love having these for display. I also love having them just to have weapon storage, kind of keep all my accessories together, which is great. And I really love the look of this figure. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. Definitely kind of want to get a couple more of this guy because he's a great army builder. So I think he looks absolutely fantastic. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.